So today what we're going to do is come in and very quickly just paint up this base mesh model. Uh, we're not going to do any sculpting, we're just going to use a couple of textures and just apply paint to this elephant here. Okay, so today I'm going to cheat again and I'm going to use one of the base meshes. I'm going to use the elephant. And I was asked if I can sculpt up an animal. So I'm going to, well I'm not going to sculpt it up, I'm going to paint it up. So I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to start painting this as it is. So I'm going to subdivide it up a few times just to get a bit more detail in there. And what I've found is I, I was watching SIGGRAPH tutorials today uh, from uh, Cineversity and uh, mentioned textures.com, which I haven't actually used. So I just sort of signed up to textures.com and I found some elephants' textures and stuff. So I just came in here and I just grabbed a, a side one and a, a close-up of the head. So I've just got two textures. So the textures that I've got are actually, I've opened them up in the picture viewer already. No, I must have closed them. So let me just drag and drop. So I've got a high res of the face just to get some detail in there. And I've also got one of the body. So I'm going to see if I can use these two just to texture up this elephant. So to begin with, I need to add a material to this and create a single material. And I'm ready to go for painting. So I'm just going to bring that in there. Bring up my paintbrush. Drag in my first image into there. I'm going to drag in the the full body. No, that's the head. It's the wrong one. I will need this one here. And I need to flip that around, or I could just flip the model around. So I might just rotate them. I'll just flip the image actually. And scale that up. And I'm just going to start with the body of the elephant here. And just rotate. Look at this and see how that elephant is. I might actually sculpt this just a little bit. And I might just bring that elephants back up again. So I will actually do a tiny bit of sculpting. It's uh, orientated along the x-axis. So I'm going to turn on my symmetry symmetry along the x-axis there. And I'm just going to bring this, this up. And something like that. It's more... Seems more like what the picture was. I can actually bring the picture up. So let's bring up that picture viewer. And I'll dock that just in in here for now. And we'll scale it down just so I can see what that looks like. That might be okay. So let's go back to painting. So I'm just going to close that again. And I'll close that down. And we will go back to the paintbrush. Again, I'm doing this very loosely. Not really paying too much attention to a lot of detail here. And I've got the symmetry turned on. So I'm just going to paint this on here. See our elephant. Got the ears there is in the wrong spot. We can just move this texture along. And I'm not really worrying too much about it here. Just... Scale that up actually would be better. That's a better approach. Scale it right up. You can see the ears are there, so we just don't get the ears. So we just leave that just so the ears don't get touched. And this might not be the exact right detail for this elephant, but it might give an okay result. switched to using the Wacom tablet because I was using a a mouse there with full pressure and now I'm going to switch to using a just a lower pressure here on here and just bring in the under texture side of that in there let me scale this down a bit 
going to keep messing around with different things until I get the kind of the look that I want here. So normally if you're texturing up a model, you wouldn't really bring in all the lighting and everything like I'm doing with this. Because here I'm bringing in the shadows of, of the actual texture into this. And really, if you're doing this for a proper model, you don't actually want that shadow in there. But because I am just doing something very quickly here, it's not too much of a problem. Some of these side details in here. This is just about doing something very quick. I might use that back leg there to get some texture on here. I can use the front leg. No, I'll use the back leg. Probably put it on this leg as well. Just on the inside parts here. Get some of that foot detail. And I'm just going to use the same kind of texture just on the on the back of this as well. Okay, I'm not really worrying too much about this. Let's do the back. Use some of that back texture. up and we'll try and do some of this as well. Just the top just to get some bit of something in here. What have we got? We've got some just in the back of the ears. A little bit on the leg there. We'll come and we'll fill the front in as well, just using the same kind of texture here. A little bit of the belly there. So it's not great, but you know, it's it's okay. Okay for what I'm doing. And now I want to switch textures to using the the one of the actual face itself, the elephant's head, and see if I can blend some of this in to make it a little bit more detailed just around the head of the elephant. So I might just see what this looks like. So the texture is probably going to be a bit different to the rest of the elephant. But 
I'm not too worried. So I'm going to use that same texture to try and do the, the trunk. I'm just going to bring it down. Just try and smaller brush will help. So I've kind of got a two-tone elephant. Let's see if I can get some of the... So we've got much of the ears in there. We don't have a lot of the ear texture in this, but I might use some of the cheek down there. Let's see if I can get that in on the ears. So you're not looking at this, you'll be thinking, why the hell is it looking so weird with two different textures, two different colors? This trunk doesn't have a lot of detail on it to work with. So what I might do, just to bring some of this color in from this actual texture, I might just bring that in, and I'm going to bring my pressure right down, and just kind of brush on lightly, just to bring in, it's not going to look great. I don't know. Definitely that trunk is no good. But the reason is the texture map. There's not a lot of resolution there on the trunk to work with. I could actually fix that up, but I'm not going to for this. Might try and come in and just do a little bit more on the trunk just from the front view with a very small brush. And I might even turn off the symmetry here. So that I can just get the texture. Just going down this part. Okay, so that'll do for now, and I'll just throw this into a octane scene, and we'll see what this looks like. Of 
got some bright eyes there. We might have to see if we can remove those eyes. It's got the default texture there for the eyes. So now I will bring in an HDR environment, add a text con tag, drag on the file, switch to the content view. And we'll put it somewhere. One thing I'll also add is I'm going to add a ground to this. So I'm going to come in here. I want to switch to the standard view actually. Sorry, wait for me one second there. I need to just bring back Octane. Create a diffuse material. Create a plane. Make it very big for this to, to stand on. So say 4000 by 4000. And immediately there you see the shadows. Um, I need to add this to that plane actually. And then on the material, to come into common and turn on matte and we're going to get a, a shadow underneath the elephant there so we'll leave that like that and now if we rotate the scene around not in the viewer there but we rotate this scene around the elephant we may find a nice spot for it that's actually a good spot there but we need our elephant facing the other way so let's spin that around as well And you want to zoom in a bit on this. Make this render a bit bigger. Maybe rotate the scene around a little bit. That trunk doesn't look good at all. But that might be okay. Let's try some other other HDRs. That might look okay. Looks kind of like it's standing on the rock there. But we will flick through a few and just see if we can find something else as well. So I'll just save that camera angle and uh, come into this. Bring up the HDRs and we'll just flick through. See what looks nice for a render. Actually, that looks okay for that kind of texture. See if we can find a good good position. I'm editing the camera there. Click off the camera. Elephant at the beach. This is probably a bit more appropriate. But I think I might go with that initial scene that I had. So let's just experiment with this just a little bit here. Let's go with our initial scene. So we'll just switch back to that one, which was. I have to find it now. This one here. And we'll go back to that camera view. Rotate it just a little bit. And we'll leave that just like that. <coughs> 